Hello, my name's Costa. Now, the last time I uploaded a YouTube video was over a year ago, and that was to show you how to create your own passport picture at home. Now, if you're interested in that video, have a look at the link below, and I'm sure you'll enjoy that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a DVD using Windows 10. Now, it should be easy, but we'll see mm, it's a little bit complicated. So let's begin. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a DVD in Windows 10. Why Windows 10 does not come with a DVD creator. Why create a DVD instead of just burning a video file to a disk. What third party tools you can use. An example of how to create a DVD using DVD Styler. So those are the th things we're hopefully going to learn in this tutorial. So let's start off with why Windows 10 does not come with a DVD creator. My laptop is a Windows 10 laptop and um, it comes with DVD um, uh, uh, hardware on it so it should be able to burn a DVD but Windows 10 doesn't come with DVD software on it so how are we supposed to burn DVDs and why does Windows 10 not come with a DVD burning software well I found uh, uh, an article where somebody was asking uh, a similar question and perhaps I can pull that up over here which might explain uh, a lot so um, the question is here I'm running Windows Movie Maker version 2012 which hasn't been updated actually on Windows 8.1 I can't burn a DVD on the home tab save a video drop down there is no burn a DVD option what does this uh, person mean well Windows 10 comes with uh, what's called Movie Maker so in this program Movie Maker you can actually create your own movies but you used to have a tab somewhere around here where you could click on the tab and you could um, burn the movies to a DVD so the way to add um, movies here is just uh, click that and um, add your videos and and then you can just click on the tab and it would create a DVD for you the tab is no longer there in Windows 8.1 I guess and no longer there in Windows 10 uh, you can still create movies but you can't create a DVD so let's come out of Movie Maker because we don't need that anymore so basically he's asking the question well how am I supposed to burn a DVD so a uh, considerate guy replied this is in 2014 and his reply is very good actually so I thought I'd read it it says in Windows Vista and Windows 7 Microsoft included a program called Windows DVD Maker it will take a WMV file, video file, uh, created by Movie Maker and turn it into a, DVD, a video DVD. As you know, a DVD is one that follows a DVD standard, etc, etc. In Windows 8, Microsoft no longer includes uh, Windows DVD Maker. That also means Windows 10 doesn't include it. Um, it says here, partly, it's a licensing issue. And I'm sure since uh, it costs a licensing fee to include that in every copy of Windows, uh, seems like it's a licensing issue which Microsoft doesn't want to pay the license to. I don't know who they're paying the license to, so therefore they've dropped it. Uh, secondly, the video DVD format is a um, standard uh, format, uh, so therefore uh, it's an old quality format so if you run Windows Movie Maker on Windows Vista or Windows 7 uh, you would see the burn to DVD option that would turn all Windows DVD Maker in Windows 8 8.1 as I mentioned that option is not there and we saw that didn't we when we ran Windows Movie Maker that the option for Windows DVD Maker isn't there 
But if you still want to create DVDs, um, how do you go about doing it? How do you go about creating this DVD? So what we can have a look at, it says here that we can create using these free softwares called DVD Flick and DVD Styler. <clears throat> now, first of all, before we look at those, um, why would you want to create a DVD anyway? Because you could just take your files and you can just copy them to a DVD and in fact they will play on DVDs uh, and I guess one of the other things that Microsoft might not include a uh, DVD creator is because they feel that uh, most people don't have DVDs anymore um, but I certainly do have a DVD player and in fact my Xbox acts like our main DVD player and many people around the world still have DVDs. With DVDs you can create really nice menus whereas if you're just copying the files across onto a DVD then you don't have any menus, you can't skip to particular parts of the uh, uh, the video as nicely as you can with a, a DVD. So what third-party tools can we use? Well there's a really nice third-party tool called uh, Easy DVD Creator let's have a look if we can pull that up from Wondershare I do like Wondershare products I use them quite extensively uh, but this is a paid for piece of software so um, you can download that you can try it for free but eventually you'd have to pay for it um, so even though Microsoft has dropped DVD creation software you can actually uh, find third-party tools that will do the job and there's hundreds of them for Windows out there. Um, you can also use DVD Flick although um, this particular one DVD Flick I'm not quite sure I've never used it um, yeah I think you can use this one but be careful whenever you're using uh, third-party software because sometimes they will download other th other things that you might not want um, what I am going to show you is DVD Styler uh, I've used it before it's a good free application and so uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you today how to use that to create your DVDs so let's go back in here and if you want DVD Styler just go to DVD Styler Dot org uh, download the application it's it's quite safe uh, you won't have any issues with that I have used it so uh, let's start using it and see how to uh, create a DVD so um, open up DVD Styler okay so let's pull up our DVD Styler and uh, the first thing that you get when you start it off is this uh, dialog box new project so you can name your file whatever you want to call it i'm going to call it um, our san diego holiday uh, pick the capacity of your dvd mine is 4.7 um, i normally leave the video bit rate to auto and the audio bit rate to 192 pick the video format mine is PAL and I'm going to pick the aspect ratio 6.9 just because it looks nicer uh, now you can open an older project if you want to if you've already got one but I'm not I don't have one so I'm creating a new project when you click OK it will come up with the uh, select templates for your DVD menus or you can create uh, one with no templates and start from scratch but I'm gonna make my life easy I'm gonna create this template here and as you can see we are already if you like halfway there because it's starting to look like a DVD um, you can create um you can create a backdrop with your own picture if you want to uh, 
and what we want to do now is um, get our video files now we can do that by clicking on this button here add a file and it will go into the um, explorer so you can look for your files but i i'm not going to do that i'm going to find my files and i'm just going to grab them and i'm going to drag them into dvd styler there we go now if you see this warning it's just asking you about your uh, video format again so there you go there are the files that i want we've got a menu um although i want to create another menu here on this title set so if i you right mouse click add um i'm going to create a chapter menu never used the chapter menu before um but anyway so i think with a chapter menu it just copies all your videos in there i'm going to create another menu uh, because i want to create uh, some chapters from some of those videos so i'm going to create a menu it's a normal menu and i'm going to move these videos around a little bit so if you want to move them around you could just grab them and drop them to where you want to go i'll put that one at the beginning So you're getting the idea you could just shift these around um shift these the way you want to go now the first menu which is a vmgm menu is always the first title menu uh what i want to do is uh, before we do anything else i just want to show you that um you can cut and paste items uh just like you would in any other you know application so we can grab these files and we can copy them onto onto here what we are going to do is we're going to grab these items here now these items all come from these um, uh, buttons on the side this here is actually this button here that you can drag it and drop it there but we've already got it you can resize it whatever you want but we don't need it because we already had a template uh we've also got on here uh these um this text these are actually buttons so if you wanted to create text you could just go in here add text and you can type whatever text that you want in there okay uh you can change the font as well but we won't uh, do that i've got text here that i want to change the title of I'm going to call this our San Diego holiday. <coughs> I'm also going to change the font. Now, what kind of a font do I want? So, I don't know. I don't like that one. Let me try that one. Yes. I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to add a draw. Oh, it's already got a shadow. Oh, you probably can't see it because it's a dark shadow so i'm going to create a light shadow different color let's have a look at that there we go that's nice i do like that font so i'm going to open that up go to fonts i'm going to copy that font name okay okay and i'm going to apply it to these buttons here go to font paste that there okay and i want to add a drop shadow as well to make it look nice and i want to do that with that one and add that font there okay you're getting the idea of what to do here i hope um you learn as you go along actually I, I want this to be called menu you can also change the highlighted and selected um, text colors if you want move down here actually i'll move that over here and i'll move that over there let's make sure that these are aligned align horizontally that's not what I wanted. 
actually let's go back so I'll do I'll do again there you go I don't know what happened there we want to align vertically that's it let's just move those across there like that so um when i click this button here i want it to go to this menu here so we don't want this menu we don't need this anymore so we will delete that so when i click this button i want it to go to title set one menu one you double click on it jump to the action that you want to jump to title set one menu one and when i click this button i want it to play all the files jump to title set one title one so it will go from here to here and then i want it to play all the titles a uh, single title set i want it to play all the title sets okay now for here i want this button to go back to this menu here so we we'll double click on this button and i want it this menu is called menu one vmgm vmgm menu one that's where i want it to go i also want this home button to go there as well that's where it's already going i now want this button to go to menu title set one menu two that's exactly where it's going now what are we going to put on this menu here well you can actually split if you've got a long file a long video file you can actually split it into chapters and the way you do that is you double click on the video file itself this video file has only got one chapter and it only it starts at um zero seconds so if we click on this menu button there we can add some more titles uh click the plus sign click on the new image and then you can tell it where you want to start the menu sorry the chapter we'll start it on 18 seconds click on that again to add another chapter and we can go and add that round about there okay that will do that will give you an idea of what, what it's doing if you click okay you'll see now that it's added these these times in there now you can add them manually if you want you don't have to go in here so click okay now this has now got some chapters in there so what we'll do is we'll go to this menu we'll click on this video file and we'll drag it into here and then we'll do another one now what we want <coughs> is the next chapter of this file so we'll double click on this and we'll say we want you to start chapter seven so this is chapter one two three four five six and this has got another two chapters in there so that will be chapter seven okay you'll see the image change in just a second and then we want this to go to chapter eight and you'll see the image change again and then what we want is we're going to grab these we're going to click copy we're going to go over to the second menu and we're going to click paste we are then gonna make sure that these are nicely aligned now we want to make sure that this arrow goes back to menu one we don't want it to go to vmgm menu one which is this one we want this to go back to the first this title set one menu one so title set one menu one that's where we want it to go 
and we want this to go to the main menu, which it's already doing, and we don't need this one. Um, what we can do though is we can add a drop shadow to this because that looks nice. Keep the thing, and we will do that for this one as well. So you can change the colors however you like them. You want to change it to blue, for example. Um, starting color is blue. Ugh, that looks horrible. I like that. But you get the idea. Leave it at white. Over our asset, and that should go back. And then, so now you've got a, a video, a DVD, with menus. Now, if you want to uh, test that this is working, you don't have to burn it to a DVD straight away. If you click this button, which is the burn button, it gives you some options of previewing your DVD. You don't have to preview it, you just uh, generate the file. And you can create an ISO image, which will allow you to burn it later. Or you can burn directly to your DVD. But I want to just generate the file and I want to preview it. It will start. Um, it's going to override something that I've already done. <coughs> but let's see what we get. But hopefully, you can see that it's quite simple using DVD Styler to create your DVDs. Uh, it's a third party tool, it's free, it's got buttons, uh, you can change the text, you can change colors, you can change your themes. You can create numerous amounts of menus. Uh, so you actually don't need uh, Windows DVD Maker um, because this is a very nice tool and I've used it a number of times. Well, you'll see the output in just a minute and uh, you'll recognize uh, that it's actually a DVD um, video. And it will work just like a DVD. And of course, if it doesn't work like a DVD, it doesn't work the way you want it to work, then you can just uh, go back and change it. So here we go. Here's the preview of what we've got. These should now work as we expect them. If we click play all, it should start my video. I'll just click along here to see if it's working correctly. Go on. No, you need to because I'm doing it this way. Go on. Film that. It's alright. Go on. Way. <laughs> Let's go back to the menu. If I click this menu, it should take us to this, the first menu, which it does. If I click this, it should take us to the next menu, which it does. If I click this, it should take us back to the previous menu, back to the second menu, back to home, back to the menu, and it all seems to be working fine. One thing I didn't show you was that you can actually create a preview in here. Um, let's have a look at, I'll show you that in just a moment. I just wanna see if these um, start at the right place, so. With each other. All right, young witch, careful watch. Watch your wand. Don't let her see it. Certainly. Certainly. Now, Zulu does like our Slytherin friends. Come, Dilly. And understand. It's fine with the cameras. Enjoy your ride. Boy, this ride was scary. That was fun. That was fun. Let's go back to the menu. Let's do this last one here. Let me practice. Faster than I'm, faster than I'm. I was prepared last time. Yeah, I think I get it. Hold it, 
Here we go. This is the big shot on the stratosphere. Oh, this I don't was think I'll so get it. Here we go. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. Oh my goodness me. Riding the big shot. Remember to pick up your personal belongings. So what was that like? Oh, the man. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, that's good. So the DVD works, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn this DVD, and um, I'm going to show you the DVD working in a real DVD player, so that uh, you know that it actually does work. Um, let's save save this menu. <coughs> uh, one thing I didn't show you was um, how to create um, previews. So if you double click on the um, actual image, you can create a preview of that image. So if you go into this menu here, video menu, you can create a five second or however many seconds a preview that you want. And I'll create another preview for this one here. I'll give that another five seconds as well. I think I'll move down. So um, now what we'll do is we'll generate video, just generate with a preview. Okay, our DVD is finished. Save. Okay, so what have we seen? We have seen that Windows 10 does not come with a DVD creator, uh, and that um, instead of creating uh, just a file, on your DVD uh, MPEG-4 file. We create DVDs because they give us nice menus basically and many people still have DVD players. Uh, there are third-party tools, a uh, nice tool called Easy DVD Creator, but you have to pay for that. Uh, there's also a DVD Flip, but I've never used that, it's free. And we've just seen how to use DVD Styler. Uh, and I hope you can see that it's quite easy to use. Uh, actually, what I wanted to show you was that there is um, a guide that you can use. Um, if you go to this link here, dvdstyler.org slash docs slash DVD styler guide, um, there is a DVD styler guide that will take you through all the menus and how to create menus and how to manage chapters very in-depth guide uh, on how to create a DVD. Uh, but you don't need to read this. Um, it's only if you want to create complicated DVDs, you can even create scripts, etc., etc. But you, you get the general idea of how to create a DVD by uh, what I just showed you. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Okay, our DVD is finished. We'll see if it... Um works in a proper DVD player. I may even write on here. There we go. And it works just like a DVD player. Let's see if it goes to the next title which it does, so if it goes back, which it does, yep, works like a DVD.
That's DVD Styler. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, please subscribe to my channel. That will really help me to continue creating tutorial videos. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.